Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be teaching how to make beef curry. So what we're going to need is salt, pepper, garlic, cumin, curry powder, parsley, a couple of garlic cloves. We're going to need some chickpeas. I have about a cup of chickpeas that I uh, softened in a pressure cooker, but you can get a can of chickpeas. And I have about a pound and a half of beef cubes that I've already softened in the pressure cooker as well. If you don't have a pressure cooker, you can just take the meat and put it on the stove and boil it for about 25, 30 minutes and it will be nice and tender. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to heat up our pan. While we're heating up the pan, we're going to cut up our garlic cloves. We're just going to coarsely cut them. Everything with frying sofrito and tomato sauce before we do anything. But this, we're probably going to just throw everything in the pot and cook it. Okay, so we've got our garlic and our beef cubes with the broth inside the pot. And then we are going to take our chickpeas and we're going to throw them in. teaspoons of garlic. I like a lot of garlic in my stuff. Pepper. About a teaspoon of pepper. Cumin. Usually we only do about an eighth of a teaspoon of cumin in our regular Spanish dishes. But with this, this is curry, so we're going to use a lot more. I'm going to use about two teaspoons of curry of cumin. And the curry powder is going to be about a tablespoon of curry powder. Parsley tablespoon of parsley. And then we're going to do the salt. Now I need I'm going to do a half a teaspoon right now just to start 
water because I don't want to make it salty. Oh, that smells amazing. All right. Oh, that's perfect. 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 So we're going to cover this. We're going to cut up some carrots. I forgot. And we're going to cut them long ways. So we're going to julienne them. So we're going to cut off the tips. Stages. So we're going to get the part out of there. Yeah. We're going to cover this and we're going to come back to it, I would say maybe about 20 minutes. And then in the meantime, you can make some white rice on the side and even some roti which I will post a different video on making some roti. Right now, we're going to have our curry beef and some white rice. Um, this is what the curry beef should look like. We're going to cook it until we have a thick sauce. So we're just gonna let it cook on medium heat until the liquid thickens up some. And we have the chickpeas in here that's gonna do that for us. So, our curry beef looks like it's almost ready. Well, half of the water, you can see the line on the side of the pot. Half of the water has already evaporated. We're starting to get a little thicker sauce. This is almost done. It needs, I would say maybe another 10 minutes. I came back maybe five minutes um, and this is completely done. See that? But it's, it's done. So I'm going to serve this with white rice and I Hope that you guys enjoy my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Leave a comment below if you have any comments or any suggestions on videos that you want me to post. In the meantime, enjoy. So this is what our curry beef with white rice looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time.